Uh, it means that if you're um, if you're in the Midwest, like for example, Chicago, St. Louis, you receive them the day after we ship them. If you're on the West Coast, it may take probably three or four days, I would I would think, to receive them. And on the East Coast, um, two to three days, depending on your location. So um, you'll of course have tracking. It should be a pretty reliable way to deliver the, the trackers. We are not using the post office, so um, um, that's good for everyone. Sounds good. So um, uh, later on, after this, we will split into smaller groups, easier to manage, and we'll take any questions that <laughs> you might have with regards to the shipping, all right? Yeah. Holy fuck. So, <laughs> There's a lot of people. Yep. So, Pog. um. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just, just a small amount. <laughs> right. So, um. The next one we'll touch on FPS. actually the Shit. general do's and don'ts <laughs> if you, you know, first receive the Tundra trackers, right? So, um. Oh, hey. We have How's some, already have some experience because personally, um. I have been overseeing the shipping of the Tundra trackers to our early birds in China, oh. right? And we, 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 we have actually accumulated some experience there, so which is good. So, um, so look, um, maybe we will want to tell, start by telling everybody what does the uh, SW3 package contains, right? Yeah, so uh, the SW3 package is basically a carrying case. Um, three trackers, three USB cables for charging your trackers, um, your dongle, which would be a 3X, 5X, or 7X, and then a ex USB extension cable. And we have some basic straps that would allow you to do feet and waist um, to connect those trackers to your feet and waist. So it should be a full kit. Like You should be able to take it plug it in and you know get into full body tracking pretty pretty quickly um the trackers they will not be paired when you receive them so you will need to pair the trackers and um i guess when you're pairing them right now if you turn on the trackers you'll need to wait about five to ten seconds and then press the button again for pairing purposes so that's a, still something that we're working on in the firmware to make that process a little bit easier, I guess you would say. Um, the trackers will ship with probably about 20% battery charge. So you'll be able to use them when you receive them, but you'll need to charge them shortly afterwards. Um, there's some regulations associated with shipping batteries at full capacity, so we ship them with 20% charge. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, you know, our goal is to make the trackers as easy to use as possible. So, you know, we we just hope that they they work transparently for you. Um, we have realized that, uh, for example, the SW7 dongle is it's getting pretty hot. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we actually um, recommend that oh you use it with the uh, external. USB extension cable, as opposed to plugging that into your frunk. Of course, you can do whatever you want. It will work in the frunk, but um, we're actually recommending that you use the extension cable. Uh, there's a lot going on inside that dongle, so it, it does get a little toasty. Um, yeah, that I think right. is yeah, sort of the high level points. Sort of the high level That's point. kind of scary. Right, right, right. Let me add some to some 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 <laughs> things to what Luke has uh, said earlier, especially to the point about um first turning it on with twenty percent power. So um right now um when you charge the tracker, hey, right when Olivia, you first get it and Olivia, you hey, charge the tracker, hey, could you um could you um make sure that the real that seeker knows seeker the. Knows the... The room, the room. Right. We so when you get the tracker oh, no. and you get <laughs> get it and you charge it up, there is a current bug, right? It's not bug free. There's a current bug, and uh, even if you charge it 24 hours, right, it will still the LED will still stay red. 
but uh, the actual charging time oh. you need through the USB C is actually only about three to four hours to reach a full charge. Okay, so guys, mm, please take note fake. of that. Mm, There's a now. slight bug from us. Now. This one's fake now. Oh really? Yay! Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Yay! 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 Yay. 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 So um. Okay. Were there any other bug fixes? No. I mean, the no, dongle fix was the last fix. thing, so... <laughs> and then we All right, still so have the dongle button. fix was the last thing. Right. Okay, that's good. Um, as, as, so, going back to one point where Luke said about the um, not plugging the SW7 dongle into the index frunk, uh, the other thing is also, um, we, have, we have tried it. Yes, uh -oh. Luke is correct. Uh -oh. It gets a little bit to toasty. Right, so um, do I? I would say, if you add that to the heat generated by the index uh, display, it does get pretty uncomfortable, right? So, just a note, guys. Just a note, because uh, we have been testing that. Right. Right. So um, I guess uh, that's all good. And if you guys encounter any problems uh, when you start plugging in and start using, right? So I think. Here's what our, our next important topic, support and RMA. So, um, look, maybe you want to expand a little bit for how do we do the North American support, right? Yeah, so for North America, yeah, so for North the America, RMA, contact, the RMA contact, is contact is the same people who you're... People can, who you're Jason, can you go on mute again? Can you go on mute again? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a Zoom call, but different. <laughs> um, so the main contact for RMA is is us in the United States, like the Tundra Labs official um, channels. So um, we're also going to provide support through the forum. So our first sort of recommendation is if you're having uh, if you're having issues that are like set up or um, related to consult the forum first, and hopefully the answer is already there for you. If you have personal questions, you can also contact us directly. Or if you think that the tracker, you know, may be defective or something like that, then we'll of course manage that uh, through a private conversation and get you set up and up and running. Um, so that's that's kind of the strategy around RMA. Uh, that's specifically for Americas. Um, if you are in Japan or, well, so for example, in Japan, Miu will be handling the communications for RMA, and that might be worked through our um, China warehouse. If you're in Europe, uh, Unbound will be handling the service for, um, for Europe. So you'll be able to ship it locally to the Netherlands and have it, have it serviced. Uh, so that's... Question. What about Australia when it comes to... So Australia would, yeah. would fall into the same category as you talk to Jason most likely. Um, so the Australian yeah. support would currently come come through the the Chinese or entity. Okay. Right. So Australia and the rest of the world and uh, Asia will will fall will, will come will, will be handled by uh, myself and this will be done through uh, other channels. Yeah. Um, that's that's kind of the story there. Oh I mean, I'm having mic sorry, issues. Um, <laughs> sorry, having some issues with my mic. Right. So um, right. Who's so who's um, mic? Who's mic? Who's mic? my mic. <laughs> I'm having some problems with mic. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. So um, so very quickly, um, there will be a manual published trouble, online, and this manual is written by <laughs> Miu at the moment. Uh, she's just completed the first iteration of the online manual. Thank you, Miu. Thank you. Thank you. So um, a manual will be available online, and I think Luke will be publishing it online pretty pretty soon. Yeah, it is already online. It's already published. So um, the documentation and manual is at docs docs tundra labs com. Um, we are using like a uh, GitHub based documentation system. So. You know, we'll always be improving the manual, adding extra things. So we want to yeah. close the loop on like what questions people have, so that we can incorporate that information into the manual. 
and actually like it would be possible as well for community members to contribute to the manual if there's something that you specifically want to document or take the initiative to do. So um, this is a pretty flexible real-time manual as opposed to like some stale printed thing that you just use to like prop up your monitor. So um, we think that's important. Mm. <laughs> right. If somebody has a better idea of a manual mm. or, or rather how to present it, please feel free to contact us. <laughs> we will take any and every subject uh, suggestion very seriously and, and consider it. Right. right. After all, this is a very open community effort. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. Um. um the for uh, <coughs> the it, uh, the forums that Luke was talking about is at forums dot tundra labs tundra dash labs dot com. Right? Is that forums dot tundra? Yep. For, dash forum. Labs forum without an S. Oh, I I lips badly, <laughs> so I cannot speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I posted the link on Twitter. <laughs> so the, the, right, so we're, um, we're still working on the manuals. Like we're making improvements. It's a little early, but we don't mind sharing a rough draft of it. We're not. That doesn't bother us. So yeah, get your right, feedback right. in so, early and often. Early and often. If you guys have any feedback, just come at us. And uh, one of the best ways to reach us will be uh, through our Twitter accounts. All right. So um. Luke uh, is at the Tundra Labs Twitter account, and I'm at the uh, Jason Leong Twitter account, and uh, you definitely can find both of us there. So between the between Luke and myself, we'll be providing most of the support that um, North America needs, right? So get to know us. Come and abuse me. Come and abuse Luke. <laughs> 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 right. um, and and please full give us your full and abuse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 18 plus only. Right, uh, so... No, it's not 18 plus only. I, I, I'm, way, I'm way more than 18. I'm way more than 18. <laughs> oh, you know me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. That's an understatement. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, not here, not here. <laughs> right. So look, um, I, I think that one of the things that we might want to address will be, um, yeah, on the on the straps, right, on the strap, and what 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 we are doing for um after the people who receive Kickstarter, the the newer straps that we are doing, yeah. Right. Right. So um, we we wanted to include straps with the tracker because straps are really essential to full body tracking. We also had, you know pretty aggressive cost targets. So we included a basic strap with the bundle. Um, we've since also worked on, or Jason and his, his partner Zoe have really worked on a uh, really nice premium strap that, that you know we think is better than track straps and better than the other straps on the market. Um, we'll also have those for sale on Tundra Labs website. And also um, they'll be sold through Jason's channels, and we're bringing on multiple distributors to sell those straps as well in in local places. So, um, is there something that you want to add to that, Jason? Besides, right? Um, the straps are designed together with people from the VR chat community, right? Uh, one of the designers is over here, Olivier. Olivier, hey. can you say something about that? <laughs> why why do you come yeah, up with sure. the design for the straps? Yeah, sure. Well, you gave me the, that amazing opportunity to to do something real. Usually I do only polygons and pixels, so it was uh, really interesting to work on production. But the, when I look for straps online, I saw many, many copies of the same stuff, uh, Chinese branding, uh, no name, and so on. And it was all, all based from pretty much uh, arm uh, band uh, strap. And my concern was especially for the feet, uh, because I see dancers and I see really active people on VR chat. So I wanted to design something that was uh, that you could put on like a slipper very easily, but also allow you to 
to do even kicks or pretty much play football. Uh, so you have an extra strap behind that really secure uh, the the trackers. Uh, so that's that was the the main goal, and it was uh, really interesting mm. to work with Zoe uh, on on colors and and uh, material, especially because mm. the, the idea was to to remove it and put it on really easily, uh, like a sleeper, pretty much. So don't bother with the Velcro once you set it up. Uh, so and now it's uh, black and fluorescent yellow. Uh, right, and I'm right, really right. happy with the, with the result. It's really comfortable. Personally, I use it with uh, with socks, so it's made for for naked feet uh, or, or socks. And that's yeah. Naked, huh? Naked. Yeah, that's the key <laughs> word. Sure. <laughs> that's the appropriate word. Very very appropriate word. Very fitting. <laughs> very Sorry, fitting. Guys, as, as you guys know me, socks. you know me, right? Sorry. Uh, right. <laughs> We are all very mature theory. people. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yes, right. very. Right. So, um, guys, um, the other thing will be um, the other designer that we collaborated with is standing amongst you. Actually, is <laughs> standing amongst you. One of your, one of the persons standing anyone. amongst you is also the designer oh, of. The straps that we have among us, us. an imposter, right. yeah, an imposter among us. He's the only guy, <laughs> he's the only guy that doesn't there. speak much English here, and his name is obviously in Chinese. Right, his handle, his nick is obviously in Chinese. You can turn around and you can spot him. He's standing amongst you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody stare at them. Yeah, it's uh, the straps are really from the community for the community. We we designed it together with the community, and the same thing goes to it, some of the other accessories that Thunder Labs will be having. Yeah. Would there possibly be a discount for Kickstarter people? Right. Look, that's the the question yeah. for you. Nice. Will there be a possible discount, something like that? I think that's the plan, right, Jason? I mean, we're really happy that Kickstarter people backed us early on. So, early on, so. Um, um, at a minimum, it's going to be free shipping for Kickstarter people. We, we think we need to figure out the exact promo, but I think that's only appropriate. Right. Is that uh, as good as an answer as possible? <laughs> no, I think that one, one thing that we can reassure everybody here, the straps are way cheaper than track straps if you guys are anybody using track straps right so we are we are um, more economical and providing a higher level quality of comfort so just try it out give us a chance and give the community a chance because we, we i have a question the community. and if yeah um i was able to get into kickstarter uh, i'm pretty sure a lot of us weren't able to yeah. Oh. Um, when will you guys start like opening up a storefront that I can buy trackers and stuff? So, um, a little bit of a sliding target uh, because our first priority is definitely fulfilling the Kickstarter order that we have already. Um, we have like in terms of the supply chain and the components that are on order, we have a whole bunch of components that we've ordered in April um, to support the follow-on customers. Unfortunately, a lot of those shipments are tracking towards being delivered in April, like 52 weeks after we ordered them. So it's mm. really the moment when those orders can come in that we can produce like in a high enough volume that um, we'll be able to like fill everybody's requests on the tracker side. Uh, we've we've already started. We've been expediting those parts for a long time now already. Um, so the gap between like January and April, you know, is just us screaming at the top of our lungs to the component suppliers to provide the the chips that we need to build those trackers. So that's okay. that's really the hard part, and that's that's why we haven't really been able to like give a firm date on the the thing because we just simply, unfortunately, don't know when those components will be coming in to be able to open it up. So um, 
you know, actually, I think it's an important discussion that we can have whether the community prefers to have a pre-order that like they would be able to reserve their spot in line and then wait for a few months for the trackers. Or if you prefer to for us to build up the inventory and then release it for sale, we kind of want to um, prevent the situation where you know we collect a lot of your hard-earned money and then hold on to it for too long before we know for sure that we can deliver the product. But um, we certainly are impacted by all of the supply chain shortages, especially for um, follow-on orders. For the Kickstarter orders, we feel that we have all the components that we need like in the bank now and, and ready to use. So, so. But right. unfortunately, not too many extra. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Question. Um, we will really um, welcome any discussion on, on that, right? So please hit us on our social accounts, right? So yeah, and another yeah. question. So when it comes to the oh, straps yeah. you were talking about, are they, um, do they have battery packs sort of like other straps have had or no? So no, they do not. Um, we, I mean, it's again, it's open for discussion, but with the tracker, we're able to achieve up to 11 hours of battery life with the tracker without yeah. a battery pack. So we felt wow. like impressive. that was already bringing the that battery life to a threshold where you wouldn't need battery mm -hmm. packs. Um, so we're, our hope is yeah. that the battery pack thing was just a, a phase <clears throat> that the full body tracking went through because, you know, the We've improved battery life quite a bit. Um, so, uh, you, um, you of course, yeah, can still as use a, the track as a bucket. Us, but yeah. yeah, right. That's so that is the true. designer that's, that's true. yeah, the designer that's standing amongst you, Wu Tong, Wu Tong. Hey, Wu Tong, give everybody a wave. Wu Tong, yeah, 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 that. Mm -hmm. oh, give everybody a wave. So he he is the one who Ni included hao. a battery battery holder on on the on the on the waist strap right he's the one who included a battery <laughs> holder on the waist strap a very very good design right inspired and yep as luke said um we have managed to achieve a constant 10 to 11 hours of battery life usage uh on our trackers right and we think that that would be pretty decent and we will probably will not need um additional battery packs most of the time, right? So on a full charge, it is 10 to 11 hours. Yeah. Yeah. I had a question kind of related to the straps. Um, the, with the um, existing like track strap plus, like after fairly heavy use, the straps themselves like wear down to a point where the Velcro doesn't really strap anymore. Or sometimes like the padding of the straps like really gets crushed to almost nothing and the company doesn't really do any warranties or replacements on any of that do you have any like comment on like the durability of the straps for like long term hmm. so um look uh, what what is the warranty uh what's the warranty and after sales for the straps is it likely going to be six months or a year or something like that I think the year is our standard yeah. warranty period. Um, so we, yeah, I would say that that's a really good question. And to be fully transparent, like we haven't worn the straps for a year to really know how they last or <laughs> the type of abuse that you guys put them through. Um, <laughs> I mean, time, who can? I'm really proud of them. So, uh, time machine. I mean, I have an extra pair of straps. So maybe that just be supplement. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we try we try to be fair with all of the customers. Like, you know, if there's there's a problem, we want to address it, especially within that first year for straps. But yeah. I have a question. Right. So I think that answers that, your question. Yeah. 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 So I think Is... that anything that happens within a year, please come back to us. Give us feedback. Because this is a community effort. We do not, I uh -oh. personally definitely do not take the honors for that, right? So come back to us, let us know, and we'll improve on it as much as possible. Okay? Swinier so is a question right, over so here. Question over here. Yeah, yeah, I have a question. Right. 
Um, yeah, as far as the crashed. hole for the, the, for the bottom of the tracker, the is, oh, what's the yeah. size of the screw hole that, that you can use? Is it a quarter oh. inch? Oh. Yes, Quarter so yeah, the so tracker is shipping with two different base plates. One okay. does not have a screw hole because it has the strap loop. And then we will also include the threaded base, which has the same threading as Vive Tracker, the quarter 20 um, US standard thread, uh, which is common for tripods and things like that. So just the quarter inch thread on the threaded base. Oh, okay. And then the two screws that go into the swappable base plates are metric M1.6 screws. So. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Question back here. Right. Way. Way in the back. So for, <laughs> go ahead. Way in the back. Uh, so for people who have um, Pimax headsets that uh, pair the devices to the headset itself, it's going to pair the same as like the regular Vive trackers, right? There's going to be like it, it works different. exactly the same as those trackers. Okay. I can answer that. Oh, let me answer that. Let me get that. I uh, was using a Pimax give a wave. Okay, give me a wave. Oh, hi, 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 Pimax user. Right. Yeah. So, I'm Pimax also a Pimax very good user. Friend in real life, Pimax. I use a Pimax, Pimax sometimes. Yeah, guys are a very good friend of mine. But um, their software is not a very good friend of a Tundra at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> The, the, the Pi 2 software, I think that the Pimax users are using a Pi 2 software, right? Am I right? Are you using Pi 2? Yeah. 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 So, Pi 2 software doesn't seem to want to work very well with our dongle. So, our Chinese community from in China has already reflected that problem to Pimax. And I've already worked with my friend Robin. Uh, and look, I think you met Robin before. Oh, look. He's doing yoga. Ah, okay. So, um, so the problem is being resolved, right? It, it is due to uh, them not recognizing the SW3, SW5, and SW7 dongle. It is exactly that. And mm. I'm providing support on that. So you can come to me if you uh, get any, uh, when once you receive your trackers, and if you have any problems, come and discuss it with me, and uh, I will be able to tell you what's the status on that. But at this moment, as we speak right now, Pimax doesn't work fully. That's a compatibility issue on the Pi2 software. So if you do not use the Pi2 software, and if you just use native Steam VR, like what uh, HTC and Index Valve Index does, uh, there's no problem. <clears throat> Right, so I hope that that answers a bit of your question. Thank you. But it works with the headset when running Steam VR, though, right? You, if you are running a uh, plain vanilla Steam VR, yes, it does. There's no problem. Like with the Pytool software, you launch into Steam VR, like every other headset. Like how Oculus can run Steam VR, you launch into it. Correct. That's right. But if you will need the Pi Two to pair with the Dong uh, dongle and the tracker first, right? You need to initiate Pi2 and, and the Pi2 must uh, do some kind of uh, initiation for, for the uh, tracker. Is that right? That's, that's how I understand I have no idea. But they're, in their software, they do support adding the yeah. Vive trackers. Like when you have Vive trackers, oh, right. it does get detected in the software. But I don't know if it right. required for it to be in the software before launching, yeah. you know, Theme VR. Yeah. Yeah, if you yes, the Pi2 okay, is actually a to... software shell, right? It's a shop software shell. Yeah. yeah. So the, the software shell has compatibility issues with our SW3, 5, and 7 mm. dongle right now. It has not been solved yet. So we have users who reported that they are in the, 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 in the Pi2, even if they manage to pair successfully, uh, when they get inside Steam VR, the... The, the the trackers are upside down or it, it drifts a lot and there's some kind of yeah just some kind of compatibility issue and the pimax mm. uh, technical team we have been in touch and we, we have talked to them and uh the same goes for japanese uh users as well and we, we just had a conversation with pimax japan 
uh, and they are um yeah doing something on that uh, uh, yeah right so will i not be able to use my trackers until that issue is resolved yeah something like that okay yes it is that right we will not be, <laughs> you will have you will face problems for sure <laughs> it's unfortunate sometimes right. honesty but is good least, <laughs> yeah but at least the early birds in china help us found find that problem and at least pymax is actively fixing it now yeah and you have a direct contact and you have so a that's direct good news yeah yeah but my direct contact is marketing side and not really the you know technical side i prefer to have a direct contact uh, with a technical side drunk, he will do it. <laughs> drunk, he will do it. <laughs> right so um <laughs> right so without much further ado um where's our special guest is our special guest here special guest where are you? <laughs> Oh. So, so I'm working on getting him in here. I didn't give him the information to join, so uh, so uh, all right, just need right. to do that. Quick. Well, it's a full instance. I don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's guys, uh, we have it's a less than eight eight people, people that they can still join. Card cap it, from it's us. Full. Yeah, but they it need would... to join off of a player. <laughs> Yeah, well, the only if they try to join the whole instance, it strikes them to, an empty, to another instance. Yeah, if, if someone leaves, or if an admin overrides the max cap, or gives him an API flag on his account to be able to join full instances. Well, I don't right. think it's that so, cool. He can just, just join let you guys know, and okay. say link. Right, this okay, special guest has... No, no, there, there's, there's 80 people in here. 80, there are 80 people. Oh, there is? Yeah, that, that's but the hard I've, cap I've without like admin intervention. Thirty-three people in the world. Oh wow! Yeah, well, that, that was was that a shelter thing? Because there, that that world was uncapped once for uh, a stress no. test. I I can't remember. Uh, so once you hit I the teach owner, the owners. Showing up, so you, the over the hard cap, you have to join on someone who's your friend. Yeah, we're on eighty. What's I didn't realize cap? we hit eighty already. Uh, so soft yeah. cap is the world <laughs> limit, and then hard cap is double the world limit. So if the world limit is forty, yeah, and hard cap is eighty, because it's double that. Um. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. We're uh, so one person left now. now. So maybe someone can join. Yeah. We could try inviting you. I think he's going to ask you to join. Um. So watch out for a friend request. Right, so a bit of our special guest. He has been using Thunder Trackers, I think. <laughs> no, yes, he has been using <laughs> yes, Thunder yes. Trackers. He's, yes, based, yes. he's definitely based in North America and a little bit famous, yeah. Which version is he using? Oh god, is this? Oh, is it the dev kit? No, it is uh, mm -hmm. our... Our close, very, very close to the production trackers that you'll be... Getting. So there's just uh, one iteration. I think I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know oh, too. Joe. Does his name start with a T? <laughs> and yeah, it starts with a T. It starts with a T. Does it have an H in it? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. That's who I'm thinking too. <laughs> me luck, me you. Who else would it be? <laughs> oh, right. yeah, who he's would? Like yeah. Right. 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 strong here. Right. Right. Oh, he's in. Oh, he's in. He's in. Oh, he's in. Hey. Yay. Understandable. Hey, Thrill. Hey, 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 Hello there, Thrill. Hi, Thrill. That's. So, I'm going to try my best bag. not Everyone's to fanboy. Oh, oh, yes. Exactly. Everybody. <laughs> give it him. Man. Give him a second. <laughs> yeah. Significantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just how many people are? 
Oh, hey. Oh, it was like 30, now it's 60 for me. I love this room, I'm doing good. Uh, maybe. Everything's breaking. But yeah, I need to jump in and get disconnected. Like, I, yeah, do, I, I've gotten that too. And immediately reconnect afterwards. Yeah, I have that. You probably got it for super yeah, cheap too. We got pretty good fans, so oh, yeah, we, we were okay. over there, but we can so, stay here too. I'm trying to matter, but like it. Like it. Just because there's so many. Like, like, like if I go up to one of these, oh, you'll nice. see each one cool. of these is their yeah, own mic. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, maybe they have yep. some questions for you. I don't know. I mean, I'm getting one frame oh, every yeah. second. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's up? <laughs> no, no wonder we're lagging so. Yeah. Bad. No. I I, I, I put a, I put players, a video because like, because video for you so I can see all of them. Yeah. No. Because these are video players. They're just MP4 players. They're just a basic Unity video player. They're just playing like yeah, an MP4. I don't know. On my I went on my old computer. I went from like 20 FPS alone in the world to like 70. But a lot. I don't know. And, um, mm. Maybe. So I, I have like multiple mm. sets of. Maybe eating the DL broke the world and like mm. deleted other now, stuff. So True. At my apartment. Yeah. And I end up now dragging my mm. super dongle and my oh. three tundra <laughs> from the office Please. to my apartment mm. and back. Like mm. I, I really, I actually right. end up really liking the experience. Um, mm. It's. I mean, the tracking's great. I, I mean, here you can see. Mm -hmm. It looks. Just fine to me. <laughs> um, and uh, they're uh, super light. So, okay. what I like about it is that I can like mm -hmm. jump and stuff, and there's not all the jiggle. That's like my biggest problem with most vibe oh. trackers is the oh, jiggle. Good thing. I don't have the jiggle. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, the, the issue is that uh, I'm managing the Twitter account and making little things for them, but I have no access to, to the shipping list or to the user data. So, all the issue regarding Regarding the shipping or looking at your account or the order of somebody is not something I can do. So this is uh, with uh, with Luke in general or Jason. Probably Luke is better uh, better fit because he ma he manage all the listing. <laughs> Sadly, I, I'm not able to help. Right. Right. I, can, I can I can make sure to ping them and then they hopefully answer me also. Um, so, if you don't if you don't have any answer or if you want to to forward look uh, any information, you can direct message me, for example, on Twitter if you have if you have Twitter. Uh, that that will work. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially because in Europe they are doing it through Unbound, uh, and I requested access to Unbound to manage them, but I don't. So I, I don't even. Yeah. Right, right, right. So, how many, yeah. how many trackers do you have on right now? Just curious. Yeah, I, I yeah, my, yeah. My I hope you're not gonna pay okay, double tax or something. Uh, it's probably. Right. Yeah, for sure. So you, yeah, yeah. I, you should be able to ping Luke and 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 ask and give the how can I said the your your friend fill the survey already right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so so he can probably uh, if it's possible that he can message uh, Luke through through the the survey or Kickstarter directly and then say that he has changed the address and now he's in Europe. Yeah. And then he will give you your address. That will probably easier and, and make sure that Luke can process it directly. But uh, just just a fair warning: Luke is so much underwater, <laughs> so there's a, usually a, a lag in there. So if if that if that doesn't reach, you reach out to me. I'll, I'll ping him directly. Yeah.
Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I just saw get like an inside view on it, right? No problem, just have to. I have a question actually. The, you said you had the, the premium straps were actually made so they like wrap around the back of your foot and stuff. Um, is there like a minimum mm -hmm. size for how tight they get? I got really tiny feet and m most stuff is like way too big for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, yeah. we actually yeah, so there's technical question. Yeah, no, Jason's gonna answer, but there are two sizes, <laughs> so the, the, and we went through sizing quite a bit because really my feedback the, about the waist VR, strap was that it was too uh, small. So yeah. um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I'm four eight IRL, <laughs> so like I'm like way on the small side, and it's a pain in the ass to, have to wear these things. So I don't wear full body all the time. No, no, because it's so no, no. annoying. No, no, oh. no, no. It's 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 optimized. So that's, that's, I'm sorry to hear that. We need we need small strap. It's, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, so like, I don't know. I, I, this is kind of like a weird uh, thing, but my waist is like. The, the <laughs> I'm trying to get like measurements, but my waist is 28 inches, and I whatever strap you gave me, uh, it's. I mean, I, it it can go tighter. So I've got a pretty tight waist, and it can go tighter. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm 48 and like 75, 80 pounds, so I'm probably right. about as small as like anyone who's uh, getting used to stuff is. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah, let's take it. Take it. We have to. We have to look at our team. Small, small, small children size. The special team where something that a team that can manage on its own. The special team where I'm. Small, 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 <laughs> hey Thrill. Um, hey Thrill. Hi. R real quick question. Okay. Maybe I, I'm not I sure when they started the before the Kickstarter, but uh, like uh, before that, well, Tinder was like used to do some like uh, shipping components like, to, do, do so you're able to the, build your own tracking system. Difficult to hear. Like, find the mic. Backflip. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's nice. I tend to stupidly stress test stuff, so if something breaks, don't worry, I'll let you know. Well, no, no worries. Are you testing the? Are you testing the Super Wireless Seven with uh, all trackers connected, or maybe like try with a development kit tracker yes, as well? Uh, I only have the Super yes. Dongle Three, so that's what I, that's all I have ah. experience with. Yeah. So we I'm have back. our uh, yeah, uh, your case is like uh, clear, isn't it? Yep. Welcome back. Yeah, I got I got one clear one. Luckily, <laughs> I love it. Oh, I like oh, it. Really so, 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 I don't know what happened. I have a question. Um, for Luke. Yeah, yeah so you, it's or, 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 you can yeah, put me on Twitter or something like that if you want to message me for so, for question and I can uh, answer them or forward Bernie them and Bird that that works too. Right, I had an SW uh, like. Uh, three dongle yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Three trackers. Yep, yep. But I yep. upgraded sure. to Pleasure. seven trackers, right? Yeah, yeah, no I got a couple yes. of extra stuff on the cart, whatever. Um, is there a specific sure, sure, of course. Yeah. When we'll get the... them, like second week? Yes, December, absolutely. Yeah. Or something like yeah. that. Because, I mean, you did say you will get them yeah. later. Which you I can use Vive Tracker. Right, so, we're good. Didn't really specify. Just, yeah. just wondering. I mean, yeah. Doesn't have to be an exact date yeah. or anything. Yeah, I, mean, we're, yeah, I was also we're wondering about the other bird factors. Right, so we're still trying to figure out the exact succession of dates, and it really comes down to like how many trackers we can get out of the factory as soon as possible. Um, we are for early birds, right? People who back the early bird tier they're shipping first and those are all 3x bundles because that's the only option that we offer for early bird after that um it's going to be a combination of two things um we'll, we'll, we will do a batch of like the 3x bundles first because we can get those trackers out to as many people as possible you know with with a, a small the same amount of trackers can go to more people when we ship the three X bundles, uh, we'll follow that on. Like after that first sort of wave, 
we'll follow that on with a, a 7x and sort of mix them back and forth so that the 7x people are not waiting too long but um it is going to be a delicate balance of like who ships first it, i don't i don't really actually can't really think of a 100 percent fair way for everyone to ship them out first so our priority is right. just move as much product out of the warehouse as quickly as possible you know fulfill right. as many people's orders as possible um, right, cause, but then again because like, i got because i got a, like an early bird bundle right because i like i back like um i don't want to say like almost as soon as i saw his video right but as soon as i saw his video <laughs> Right, but yeah. but but yeah, I mean, even, even when when he first announced them, when he first talked about them, I started following you guys, you know, and I got the early bird bundle, right? But I wanted more yeah. trackers because I have a second headset at home. Um, because I I'm in VR and my wife is in VR, you know, and we like yeah. to hang out in VR and stuff. So that's why I got the seven bundle. Seven. And well, I I wanted to get the early bird, right? And I did. But then I upgraded to seven, and I also added uh, uh, an uh, SW three dongle or whatever, right? The three dongle, so then she he can yeah. have a uh, full body, and I yeah. can't full body. Like, <clears throat> I I don't know. Like, it just, it just kind of sucks. Like, I feel like it would have been better if I would have just kept my early bundle, and I would have just but a second early bundle under her account and then we would have gotten it like sooner or something like that like i don't know like i guess i i did notice that there was no option to make an early bundle seven thing but i was like uh oh, whatever you know as long as we get it before christmas it'd be fine i guess <laughs> but yeah like <laughs> that's great you guys have been great and I, I don't mind like supporting you guys and all that stuff you know so yeah i mean all i can really say con concretely is like we're we're trying everything to ship them out as soon as possible um you know the the hard thing is like 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 what's been really challenging throughout the kickstarter process is like it's really hard to make special exceptions for anyone because then like everybody wants that same special exception right so um we're just trying to understand yeah mm. So we just got to keep cranking on the production is really what it comes down to. Um, the team, the production team, Jason and everybody at the factory is really, really hustling to put together as many trackers as possible. Um, we have, well, we have like a, what, a, a thousand of them just sort of, of in the, sort of in the final stages or they're getting reworked right now. Really now and then there's right, a few right, more right, thousand right after behind it. Right. So. Right. right, right, exactly. So, yeah, um, I think that later on, uh, when we split into smaller groups, you know, anybody who has questions on what's the production going on like, you know, and whatever <laughs> questions related to that can come Bless to you. me. Bless you. Right? And Bless, you. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Bless you. Sorry. Sorry. Bless you. Sorry. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> right. You're fine. Bro, we're, we're just getting rid of COVID, all right? What what you doing? Yeah, it's just more. Corona. Back up, back up. Hell yeah, I could do for some Corona. Ten feet, <laughs> six feet apart. Six feet apart. Six feet apart. Oh, I'm, I'm hitting the butt wiser right now. Um, I look. I, once I, everybody I, gets their tundra trackers, we all like pop some Coronas <laughs> in a party world. Here we go. Yeah. You gotta wait till April. Bottoms up. Uh, I, I just wanted to know, for the people who just got a basic early bird package uh, and are US based, is there a timeline for those people yet? Because I, I saw the update that you guys were getting them shipped in, I just want to know if there was any more definite information than that. Yes, basically, as soon as the dongles land, which is going to be like Monday of next week, we're going to be cranking through those orders first. So, so, in a few, so basically in like five days, you'll be getting them there and then you'll be shipping them out to the US early bird? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, Sweet. cool. Yep. That yeah. is great so that'll to hear. be Thank the you. first wave. Cool. Yep. I, I believe in you guys. There, will there be tracking? Yeah, it'll be UPS tracking. You'll be UPS. able to track it throughout. Um, okay, so Sweet. USPS has been... Probably the best news I've gotten. the past few months. All week. <laughs> um, yeah, right, right in time for my birthday. We, we use them a lot, but um, <laughs> we wanted to have something more reliable than USPS for these tracker shipments. Right. These are really important. Fair, fair. Smart, smart. 
Mm -hmm. Is it all going to be uh, UPS based or yes. some FedEx? So, hold on. There's a question about the CAD files, and Just then there's a question about the something about FedEx or what was it? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was just wondering if it was all <laughs> UPS based or if we were going to use FedEx <laughs> and different companies. Uh, we're we're going to try at least for the early birds first, exclusively UPS, and then we'll see how it goes. Like, I don't think that they'll drop the ball, but that's that's our go-to right now. Is we have rates negotiated with them and stuff, so that's that's the direction we're going. Um, okay, thank you. So a question on the CAD so files, the CAD and CAD people file, have yeah. asked about those a few times. Um, the release is imminent. Uh, it's kind of like right now we're making decisions every day, like do we work on shipping the trackers and getting the paperwork for certification done, or do we release the CAD file? So there's no, like, limit besides just, like, getting them out there into the world to release them. So um, it's it's soon still, like, but, you know, also – it's it's in the list of things to do for sure like we're not we're no longer holding back from releasing them it's just a matter of fitting it into the schedule um you know just rip the steam vr 3d models, 3D models. <laughs> yeah so the you can of course use the obj files already in steam vr they're they're optimized for rendering so they're not exactly like good cad models for 3d modeling so we also plan on releasing those 3d cad files um soon <laughs> on the um, note of releasing right. files would you ever uh, release board views or schematics so we can repair our product we own that's a good question that's a good question Ooh, good one. right to repair. So, very good. Yeah, with the right to repair is yeah. prepping it, escalating. Yep. I mean, I, can I just put in my personal opinion? I mean, I would say since these are still kind of early, like, kits, I wouldn't say we wouldn't be quite comfortable with that. I mean, I'm not going to speak for you guys at all, but I certainly would not be comfortable with something like that when it comes to... Well, I mean, there's probably um, going like, right to be videos repair. on how to disassemble in, like, a year. Oh, right, right. But yeah. I mean, yeah. like, you gotta remember like, flexible like, flexible switch teardowns were literally a week in. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm pretty I, sure there are people who are saying they can't actually fix it by yeah. themselves, yeah, exactly. for sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. At the same time, I, like, I would have taken part of Quest 2. It's, like, fucking difficult. I'm not <laughs> well, I was pretty open about stuff like that, but um, mm -hmm. I, I'll be real honest with you. I I don't see us releasing the schematics or the the like the the flex design and layout uh, for the sake of repairing one because you would like we are using a ton of like extremely small components. Most of them are unfortunately not too repairable. And second, like, the, we do have to maintain some amount of proprietary information so that, yeah. you know, um, you know, sort of protect ourselves from being cloned. Of course, clones are inevitable, probably, but we don't want to, like, hand all the information on a platter to, to be cloned. Um, in reality, a lot of the information is already known through the HDK documentation. One of the issues are you going... opening the trackers is that all the photo sensor are placed uncalibrated, and so if you open them uh, deeply, you have the risk of, of moving them around, or when you put them back, not having the photo sensor at the exact space, and then you won't be able to calibrate it uh, using the software uh, and have your tracker in full health. Are there any plans besides the warranty to potentially have them uh, shipped back and repaired like after the year warranty ends? Or is it just kind of like if they break after a year, you kind of just have to pony up for a new set? I don't really know the answer to that right now. Um... I, I, think, I, I feel like at that point for repairs, it'd probably be more expensive <laughs> than a new one. Right. Like yeah. the cost of shipping it back and repairing it would be more than a hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure. It's likely, yeah. 
Even then, fixing I mean, some basalt components is a great pain, right? especially the uh, <laughs> chips inside, because they are very. I mean, it's just precise. like. Like, I'm pretty sure the shipping it's alone would be almost $100. Wait, wait, uh. Look, you have something to say, right? It's in the States. Hey, look. You were going to say something about it. Yeah, it's cheap in the States. It's in the States. About shipping them back. Here they are. Doing the yeah. yeah, yeah, like. I mean, oh yeah, I guess part. Like, we, like we RMA. Don't really, we don't really have working. a plan right now. We don't really have a plan right now for that. It, mm. it could be one way or the other. I mean, it really comes down to like, what's the right thing to do at that point in time? We don't know until we sort of ship these out and see see what what issues happen at scale. So, Jason, yeah. Yeah, I think that it's easier to if we separate into smaller groups and we can take questions and answer them faster. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's that's good with me. Um, but it's a good group. Right, here. There's eighty people here. I've never seen a lobby this full. Uh, this full. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> It's because we're all calm and we're not using animation. Wait, we need that. of people you can have talking at once. If you pass that cap, everyone's audio just shuts off until people stop talking. You know what? Really... Uh, here's, here's the plan. So I will go upstairs to the second floor. So people who want to ask me questions can go up there. And then uh, Luke will probably stay around here, right? In this corner. Sure. And then uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that uh, any anybody uh, trill, you can take one corner and probably mm -hmm. chill with people who wants to chill with you. But I, mean, yeah, I think yeah. it's easier. <laughs> so yeah. last thing, thanks for every thanks everybody for coming. It's very much appreciated mm. you take your time to come join us. I yeah. hope that this has been yeah. useful and we will want to mm -hmm. do more of this in the future. I, I hope that you guys think that this is, you know, you, you'll come and join us in the future as well. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one last thing I might say. Thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. A few last words Thank on you. my side, real quick. Um, you want to let me hide like, those avatars? These for me these meetups are really important and like the vr chat community is so important to what tundra tracker is doing and full body tracking and like it is really something special like it's obvious to me that there's something special here that's more than just like you know the next app or something like that like the community that you see in vr chat is 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 really unique and, and you know something reminiscent of the early days of the internet early days of personal computing, things like that. So we want to engage a lot with the community and we want the community to tell us what kind of things we should engage with. So like when we, you know, we, we said on the Kickstarter update, you know, you know, we're starting a forum. I'd encourage you if you're a forum type person to participate and share your ideas for like what we can do to engage the community. But like, we want this to be more than just um, you know, buy the trackers and life is over with. We want to, you know, continue that relationship with customers after the, you get your trackers, right? So, um, but we're learning about the community. Like, um, definitely don't know much about it at all compared to most of you in the room. So, like, you play an important role in, in teaching us, you know, what what the right things to do are. So, thanks, thanks everyone. We're trying to simulate a real trap here. I'm trying to literally try not to break my mouth and call it a trap. Dude, same. I'm trying not to break my knuckles, man. Shit, it's expensive. Thanks for tagging along. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting me tackle. I'm with you. I'm glad you enjoyed it.